and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. I was actually just going to start this episode today with... So, in the last episode, because I'm still very much not over what happened in the last episode. Basically, Josh lost his dad. Joshua, sorry. We got overrun. We got attacked. Seen it coming a mile off. And all the soldiers were drunk. Nobody was actually able to defend themselves. Clive tried his hardest. And unfortunately, everything just went horrific. And that is a view that I do not like. Now we are back into current time. His mum is a bitch, okay? I'm allowed to say that because I think I'm like a minute into the video now. You don't swear like the first 30 seconds or something. I don't know how it goes. But anyways, Josh unfortunately got killed. Or shall we say he turned into Phoenix and then Ifrit came and destroyed Phoenix. Now, I very much believe that Clive is actually Ifrit. And he wasn't such an idiot after all. Because obviously his mum was so nasty to him all the time. Because she was like, we need to protect protect Joshua at all costs. We don't give a damn about Clive. But I think, you know what I think? I think Clive is Ifrit. All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? And I think that's why we're being kept alive just now. I, I still believe that we are on the side. We're being forced to be this soldier and we have been for such a long time by his mum. That's what I believe. By the flames. The graphics in this game are just amazing. They're so good. So, present time, we're coming after the woman who turns into Shiva. And I am miles behind, but I am getting all the goodies. I feel like I have a delay in my headphones or something. I don't like it when that happens. It means bad things are gonna happen with the recording, but let's just pretend that didn't happen or isn't happening. Did you hear that? Down there. Is that her? Is she prisoner? So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. In what? Bitter. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Here we go! This is the next day. No, it's been two days since I played Final Fantasy. Let's see how my battle skills are. Oh my god. Please. Is that... That's the girl from the star. What was she called? Jill? Jada! Must be Isla. What alvation now can Alad Scully asked? Yeah, Clive, do it. Let this be the end. It is, it's her. I don't want to fight her. Avis, can't to she was dominant. Gladly. Focus on the target. Understood. 
Well, uh, yo, hey, yo, girl. I want to go after her instead. Yo! Damn you! Oh, whoa, 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 that's not good. Like, does he not recognize her? I get such a Dark Souls vibe from the battle system of this game. Yes, I said it, okay? Excuse me. Oh! Stop it, honey! I gotta get that chain up. We say that Shiva defeated, but there's no way. Shiva is a badass. Okay. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the bloodstained earth below. What does that say? Dalmechian? Soldier's account of the Battle of Nisa. Year of the Realm, 873. Don't you recognize her? Am I the crazy one? It's not her. I think it's her. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Do it then. You bloody well won! Oh my. Fuck. Where's 
We're a bit outnumbered here. We've got company, Wyvern. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Why are you stealing the Shiva? <laughs> Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards. She's not dead, right? Jill! Wakey wakey! Oh god, I'm so stressed! Okay, it's fine. You, you don't understand! Dominant. I know her. Know her! Look around you! Yeah, I know I'm a bit busy, but I still know her! I need you here! Oh man. Ah, I love it. Boy. So we've had issues now with Joshua. Joshua was Phoenix and Jill was Shiva. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Won't do it. You won't do it. I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Oh, yeah! I don't. The Empire will have our heads if we Oh, this is kind of sad. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. If I told you, Sergeant, I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Oh, she is alive. Okay. This game is so good. Hey, that was a cheeky little one, though. Okay, we're not gonna get very much because I didn't have all my things. Wyvern, have you forgotten Ow. who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die. As you should have 13 years ago. Yo, listen. Hey, don't be talking like that. Yo. My bad. Don't want to know what that does. That's better. I actually have the moves this time. And I will not fall by your hand. This guy is called Tiamat. Aww. Like Final Fantasy VIII. Nice. Not this time. I'll take your head. Too slow. Traitor's blade. I'm not a. Sorry, every time. My poor microphone, I just see it in the red constantly, like getting blown up over there. <laughs> I edit my gameplay videos, so it's fine. I know that only I have to be the one that's like, whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Level up, thank you. Okay, so a Y right material. To most, this nondescript lump of rough hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. To the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more, for the metal contained within may be fashioned into inexpensive yet durable gear favored by warriors across the realm. We have a meteorite. 
Just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so so uh, so too so to do that so to do that's weird they fall from the celestial foundry where the gods forge their divine instruments of war or so it is believed we call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites so to do sorry buddy but Jill's my past. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Wakey, wakey, Jill, turn into Shiva, please. Nah, she's out. Okay! timing Oh what huh. This way uh, Sid are you kidding me Well come on then Of course there's a of course. Fuck. Fuck. But is that Torgal? Does Sid have his own Torgal? Hey, Sid. Oh, this game's amazing. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna freak out a little bit. Ooh. Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. She just reminds me so much. The Thunder. Final Fantasy VII. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Oh, what? We have work to do. What is she called? The one that has the bitch slap session with Tifa. When Tifa's trying to escape later in the game. That's really gonna annoy me. Scarlet? Nah. Jill. Is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey? <gasps> His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. I told you it was Torgal! I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Eek. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. 
I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't think so. I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Targo! Targo! How did you end up with Sid anyway? At least he's all right. I knew that face instantly. I was like, that's my poocheroo. We'll just pretend that this is Sid when he was younger. Sid from Final Fantasy 15 and Cindy isn't born yet. Let's just go with that. Not the music. It's just, it's so funny to me to always have Sid in all the games. He's just so iconic. Final Fantasy is iconic to me. I just I love it so much. Okie dokie, it's the hideaway. We are here. We're certainly opening up the map quite a bit now though. It's a shame I can't zoom out. So, wait, you've got this here. Looks like a blue crystal. A place there and a place there. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, the hideaway. The withered remnants of a once verdant valley, long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. Oh, I feel like I need to show you guys the map that was in my collector's edition, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, I lost it after a day. <laughs> Sorry. The guy's kind of goofy. I feel well, like he's Biggs out. or Wedge. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Sweet home. I've been talking to a few of my friends about this game and they were saying that they also got the Game of Thrones kind of vibe from it. I'm not finished Game of Thrones yet, almost, but definitely gives me that kind of vibe. Oh, yeah. 
And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. I am gonna look around. Where is it? Where? No, no, no. Yes, no, no. No, no, no. Ah. Pressing the middle button opens a detailed map of your current area. Main scenario destinations are ma mapped with that thing. I do not care right about now. Where did it go? Where did it go? Schmuggle. Hey, hey, Moogle! Still hungry, are you? Ah, uh, not for Moogles. Moogle! Oh. Where did it go? No oh, is that a chicken? We have chickens. Aww. Ooh. You're an interesting looking chicken. But where? Maybe I'm gonna get introduced to it? Sid once told me. The blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. I can hear you. I can see you! <gasps> there it is! There it is! That's so funny, I could hear it in my headphone and I was like, there's a moogle around here. Hello! Hi, Moogle! I have to tell you guys. So, now that my wedding is done, we had a groom and a bride for the save the dates and for the invitations. Our own Moogle design. So it was like, we didn't take any Moogle, we like made our own Moogles. Um, we had a boat Moogle, where the Moogle's like rowing a boat because you had to cross the water to get to our venue. We had a snoozy Moogle, we had a dinner Moogle. Ah, oh, the Moogles were running the show at my wedding. Then, our wedding, sorry. Then, we had the quartet when it was like, you may kiss the bride. It was da 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 We had the quartet playing Tizanarkind for me walking down the aisle. We had a Final Fantasy cake. Oh, it was just, it was a bit nerdy, okay? It was a bit nerdy, but I cannot wait for the photos just to show everybody. Ah, oh, so Your exciting. Brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I was most certainly not born a slave. <coughs> Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. Poor guy. So you might say that Final Fantasy was definitely a big theme for our wedding with the save the dates, the invitations, the cake. The music, just everything. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. Ooh. Well, that doesn't sound good. Wait, how do I get? Most concerning. What is most concerning? Do we really get Final Fantasy XII vibes or what? Because I really do. Have time for Maybe not as medieval in 12, but. When lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunders all, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. You're good! Well, what do you think? I woke this morn inspired. I think you've got a really good voice. Okay, city boy, I'm coming. I've spent the whole morning on this. Oh, you've got. I 
seen one of those where they died. That this owl died. That project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. You can always get back up again, though. I believe that. I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? I've got nothing else to do now, do I? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. I do you though, like. You need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. I still think, even though it was a very strange moment, it's like this big part of me that's like it was Clive. It was Clive all along. There was no just other guy that appeared there, even though we were looking at this burning guy. We never once saw Clive in the same cutscene. I'm just saying. Just saying. Like, I might be crazy. Most definitely crazy. But, I don't know. I very much like the music in this place. Ooh. <gasps> he, he's in... Oh, no. Goot, was it? Perhaps you can help. 
Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. I was going to say, he sounds like a smithy. To the forge it is, then. Oh, wait. No, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. So, we haven't actually checked anything lately. So we have the Rising Flames, the Scarlet Cyclone. Look at this! I did not see this! This, oh, it's just, it's like, oh, gee! Ah, oh, I didn't see that. Well, I've seen it now. Okay, so we have these two. I guess I don't have anything else. Do I have any of these that are not cheating? No, I do not like any of those. Crazy. Actually crazy. When I stuck those on, I think it was in the last episode, and did not realize. Like, I had no idea. It's like, this is cheating! Okay, I haven't used any of these. Um, ability points can be spent in the tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are unsatisfied with this current build, reset and try again. Cool. So sword indicates for dealing damage and the star is for breaking a target's will. I have a lot, 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 lot. But oh, that's a nice evade. Oh, that's 500 though. It's expensive. What's this one? Can do a magic burst and upgrade that. Um, okay, what else do we have? I feel like my magic at the moment is absolutely rubbish. But, I'm really interested in this preci precision dodge. So we've got a lunge attack. A slice down. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one though. R2 in the middle, that's... Huh. Unusual. Oh, that's another good one as well for your evade. Press X while in the air to kick off. Yeah. Wait a minute, what are these? Oh, it just keeps on going. This is what confuses me as well. You've got Joshua who's passed away now, but we're using Phoenix. Like, how is that even possible? Yeah, so strange. But I don't remember, was I using Phoenix even before? I can't remember. Ah, it's bugging me. It's like, did we have some of the ability anyway? I don't know. I don't think so. Right. That one. That's fine. The items tab contains lists of all non-gear items. Okay. Oh, is there any other shortcuts we should do? So what does this one do? It's widely consumed by soldiers seeking to toughen their own hides. Increases defense. Whoa, okay. And that one will increase attack power. Ah, 
Okay, so the journal just tells us what we are to do and things that have happened. And then, of course, we have our map as well. Good to know. Hey, Smithy. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? Well, no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sitter Lostwing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber, for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Eh, uh, why? A noisome spirit better suited to stripping oil from a painter's canvas than consumption grants over word conscripts a few rare moments of sweet oblivion on their long, arduous sea journeys north from the continent. So... Does this mean that some people are going to be incredibly awkward with me, but if I have the right items, we can move forward? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Oh, exciting! Okay, forging. The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a blacksmith, as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft. So there are no items to reinforce. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Uh, a word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Oh, Sid, he got a bit of a reputation, huh? When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Shadon's Tall and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, there are also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. Oh, please tell me that this game has, like, um, the side missions for defeating all the beasts like Final Fantasy XII. That'd be amazing. An icon will appear in-game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should thank Goots. Well? So, will it be? Okay, so, oh, I almost had enough materials to do up the broadsword. Anything nah. else? Can I see I'm busy here? But I ain't the cook, am I? <laughs> Though if you've tasted Kenneth's brown, I might as well be. No. Sid needed a smith and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt the forge here's the hot what? Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell. Or that it works without magic. I won't have no better suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling, you bring it here. Along with your own materials and any scraps left over, I keep. Off you go then. I want to keep Sid waiting. That was really strange that they kind of voiced some of it, but they didn't voice all of it. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. <laughs> I'm only teasing. We feed the hands to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> nice lady, am I right? What are you gawping at, newcomer? Never seen a man work with his hands. 
Well, you best get used to it if you're thinking of staying. You know, you should really get a washing machine. <laughs> just messing. I'm just messing! I know there's no washing machine here. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make it comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there, someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? Are you kidding me? Did you see how I grew up? I don't do these things. What the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <sighs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. <sighs> so I got it. I only Tell came here because of Jill. And now he's like getting sucked into this community. Well, this is just what happens. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. That's what I came up here for, lady. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. She's pretty good to have, it would seem. Looks like she can save everybody. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. They oh. call her Cadden, but they spell Besides. her name Shadden. Be seen. That's even funnier. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. He's doing that thing again where he's like, uh, like, I don't want to be here, blah, 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 I've got stuff to do, but he's getting pulled into it all. Keep an eye out for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed on the journal. After accepting a quest, the objective will appear in the to-do list located on the right side of the screen. Objectives for the red main scenario and up to three green side quests can be displayed. 
Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing X. Objectives for prioritized quests will remain displayed in the to-do list until the quest is completed or another quest is given priority. Priority status for a quest can be removed by highlighting it and pressing X again. The following hideaway facilities are also now available. The Thousand Tombs. The Orchestration. Ah, oh, personal jukebox. Nice. Both are located in the hideaways eatery. The Fat Chocobo. What? Who are these people? What? what, 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 what? The Fat Chocobo. <gasps> Can I? Can we send market? I'm coming. I need to see you. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like uh. a girl has some Don't think I have no. How do I get there? I need to be with the fat chocobee. I'm like, is he up or down? Because I feel like this was up to Sid's place. Am I on the right way? I'm surprised we all made it. Ah, now I'm just going around in circles. Damn it, it has to be in here, it has to be. He's up in the corner, right? Are you the fat chocobo? Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then. Allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. They should have named him the same guy from 10. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Okay. The Thousand Tombs is a comprehensive compendium of Valestine lore, covering everything from basic terms to important persons, geography, and history. New information is constantly added as Clive progresses through the story. Past active time lore entries can also be viewed here. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Ha! <laughs> uh -huh. You wish to study the tomes? Tomes, oh man. Okay, um. Ah, interesting. So, Icon, magical beings of godlike strength who dwell within human hosts known as dominants, only emerging when the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with a unique elemental affinity. It is commonly held that two icons of the same element cannot coexist. But as none has ever witnessed all of these rare creatures together, the conjecture is yet to be proved. I was going to say I had um, something else from my collector's edition, but I don't have it with me. So priming... There's so much to like learn here. The act of a dominant transforming their living flesh into that of their icon. Ah, it's called priming, okay. Dominants most often prime during times of war, using the immense strengths of their icons to turn the tides of battle. Though it is usually done deliberately, the dominant remaining in control of the icon even when primed, on occasion a dominant will lose control of their powers and see their icon run riot. 
That's what I think, man. I still think that Clive is Ifrit and he lost control the same way that um, Joshua lost control. So that was just what we uh, witnessed, the lay of the land. The Battle of Nisa was a short yet bloody clash between the Iron Republic and the Republic of Dalmechia in the year 873. Dal Dalmechians hoping to force an end to their long-running conflict with the Iron Blood had convened, convened, I need my glasses, a council at Zernitra stronghold and entreated their Waladir allies to aid them in their cause. However, talk soon broke down and the Dalmenicans were left with no choice but to rely once more on the power of the mighty Titan, to whom they already owed a considerable debt. Hmm. Thus was the stage set for a showdown between Titan and Shiva, the Ironblood's own icon, in which losses on both sides were too many to count. Ain't that the truth? So who was Titan, though? Hugo Kupka. Do we know him? Don't think we know him. Okay, this, I could spend a very long time going through all of this because there's so much to know. I'm like, do we get... Okay, I think this is kind of what I wanted to see. He's the firstborn son of the Archduke, obviously the dad who died in the last episode. From a young age, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade and his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the Phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield. Ah, okay, okay. So he did, from when he was younger, have a part of the phoenix. He was blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Okay. So though all expected him to inherit the phoenix's flames and awaken as the dominant, destiny instead chose his younger brother Josh to bear that burden. In search of a role of his own, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade, and his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. So though it was his sworn duty to protect his father and younger brother, both lost their lives in a tragedy brought about by his mother. She a bitch! Duchess Annabella. Taken into custody by the Imperial Army, he was branded as a bitter and forced to serve as a slave soldier. And then he grows up. So he goes from Clive to Wyvern, a slave soldier for the Holy Empire of San Brick, now in his 13th year of servitude. Though drafted as a frontline infantryman, the magical might granted him by the blessing of the Phoenix quickly saw him promoted to an elite squadron of assassins, where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known. Their latest mission to descend into the Nisa, where bloody battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Dalmechia, and take the head of Shiva's dominant. Um, an imperial bearer, imperial bearer turned deserter after refusing to slay the dominant of Shiva, choosing instead to turn his blade on his own sergeant. As a force of crusaders close around him, his freedom seemed as if it would be short-lived until the timely intervention of Sid, a man who shared Clive's desire to see the dominant freed from their clutches. Together they escaped to Sid's secret hideaway. Okay, so that has answered a ton, 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 ton of my questions in regards always welcome, Clive. to Clive. I could spend decades there. Absolutely decades, but I don't understand about the chocobo. Ah, a new face. 
and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. I thought there'd be a chocobo! I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. I like that. I like that it can come up and you can prioritize oh, it then and there. Again. Okay, so one here. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. That is not the voice that I expected him to have. Well, he's not not at all. Rumors. Sits up there in that hole of his, brooding. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Aww. See, I had a bit of a thing about Sid. I thought, mm, maybe we can't trust him. Maybe he's a little bit of a a dodgy guy. I heard but so far, I feel like he's he's doing a lot of good for people. <sighs> this whole place. <sighs> Damn it! We'll be needing more wood. If I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. I don't know why. I went over to him thinking he was the last one for the food. And then I'm like, no, 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 wait, that's, that's not right. He's not the food guy. Uh, the last food must be in... These apples are all foul. Uh, not in here. It must be inside. Um, right, let me just take off that. There we go. Uh, so, food for thought. Make, do, and mend. Is it this guy up here? Waitress Clive! So much more to find. 
farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. I was gonna say, don't be rude to Clive, That's okay? I better let Kenneth know. See, now I'm getting Witcher vibes from this game, and I'm loving it. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Well, I mean, it depends. What goodies do I get? Uh, oh, ten of those. Uh, whiteite. To most, this nondescript lump of rough hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub. I've read that. I have read that. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open. Oh, yeah. No one's looking. Right, do I have anything good now? If I go to... Four hundred twenty-five. I just need 500! That's all I need. The iron blood were quick to sound the retreat once Titan turned up. So this is the music, right? Background music played in the hideaway can be changed. Ooh. I'm like, is there any like old school stuff? So we have this one on just now, which is really nice. I do like this one. The other one's nice, but I do like this one. time for a nip with old August before scampering. Okay, we have a lot of side stuff, do we not? Or do we not? Actually, I think it's just this one, and then we go on to the main mission. Hello. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. It always makes me laugh because they always end up having Jeffrey, was it? A certain accent. It just makes me giggle because it's always like Timber. <laughs> My Moogle is still here. What are you doing? What is it doing up there? It's just chilling. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop. And it is a beautiful place as well. It. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to 
That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Make do and mend. Got some meteorite and a gill bug. Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather from the fact that it's highly sought after by spy sickers for use in the brewing medicines. In summer, where the beetles are most numerous, children across the realm will spend nigh every waking hour collecting specimens in readiness to exchange them for a handful of coppers. As children have tiny hands, however, this amounts to fewer than one might expect. Okay, so we can actually trade that for gill as well. Watch out, chicken! Right, let's go see what Sharon is saying. Cadden. Yeah, not Sharon. Need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Well, it depends. What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you selling? Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around Valestea. I, I know I'm saying that wrong and I'm sorry. Shop stock changes as the story progresses, so be sure to check in frequently. Hey! We want that sword. It'd better all be here. Um. Ooh, they're good. 400 though. Potion, high potion. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Ah! That's all. Why are you barely a guilty your name? Poochie! You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. <laughs> he grew up to be such a great poochie. me sorry collect the supplies we love you Torgal what is this hey <coughs> oh my gosh oh sorry the Aret stone this customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses throughout the story. Okay, do I have to? I guess I have to. Training mode! Dun, 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 dun. The Hall of Virtue. It's a fully customizable battlescape that provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Oh, hey, buddy. So 
I'm just looking at the combos. I love that that you can see what I'm doing as well. Invincibility, regen, burst timing. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on the training. I would rather do that in my own time. You all done. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop <laughs> you going, does it? The dog's like, give me fun. some food, please. Right. Hey, Torgo. Dogs are always like so forgiving. Right. I need to pet the dog, please. Use the world map to instantly travel to previous unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. The world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time. I love you. My Torgo, and I can't pet you, but I am. I am mentally petting you. <laughs> oh, hello. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? Oh, oh. Hey, hey, guys. That's just hey. Susie, that's not a chocobo. Anyways. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Make for the great wood. So that was good. It was nice to mess about in the hideaway. Come to grips with everything. But now I'm ready to move on. Yes, I just went up to a bundle of hay and thought it was a chocobo. So, like you haven't done that before. Oh, it's like the night of my wedding. Blood flies everywhere. We had fireworks I going off and everyone was like... Road. And I told you we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? You know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. Hey! That there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Ah, oh, I just, I love Torgal. He's my fave. Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Okay, pet commands. Ah, so I have to toggle between items and pet commands. Attack, heal, launch an enemy into the air. Oh, okay, so we don't care about that though. We don't want to use these items because they're cheating. Did I mention they'll be deadly beasts. They'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. I'm just ready to fight alongside my buddy. Let's do it, Torgal. Let's do it, Torgal. Ah! I thought I would have had a map. Like right, go Tark! 
Yeah, 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 yeah! Anyone comes for my Torgi. Does Torgo have a, a HP bar? Does it just do, like, I know I can command Torgal, but does it just kind of do what he wants? Because he keeps squealing and I don't like it. Or maybe it's, maybe it's the monster I was attacking was squealing. We'll go with that. We still have a way to go. You okay, boy? You know if anything happens to Torgal. Oh. Yo ho ho! Is that a admin point? No, it's not. It's something. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <laughs> Clive's like, dog first. Let's try and stay out of its path. Like, I would sacrifice Sid. Sorry, but... Torgal comes first. Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. Any only thing to mention this now. You know what to do, boy. Sick him, boy! Ouch. Keep your distance, boy. The underground sorted. I'll take it from here. So we very much like the battle system in this game. I was really worried about the stagger thing, but yeah, I really like After it. You. Thank you kindly. I don't think it would have worked if we had it like the typical, like the old school battle system for Final Fantasy. Like this works, the fast pace. The ruins, they're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. <laughs> Mind your head. Just reminds me of 15. Having that there. Just that section in 15, you know? I think sometimes I have to pinch myself and remind myself that I'm playing 16. I guess time has moved on quite quickly. Hi! A wyvern. I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? What do you think? You think he's a friend of mine? Get the boy got. Yeah. 
thought it was dead there for a second. You know what to do, boy. You're finished. Easy peasy. Oh, I think we're over 500. Yes. So we can get that new ability. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. I'm not worried. Yes, here we go. Okay, it was a lot. Let's go for jump. Let's go for the evade one as well. Just because we can afford it, you know? Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. What, what, what? What's wrong? What is it, boy? At least one of us. Uh, why trust in your own animal instinct when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you're lost, hold down L3 and Torgal. These woods. Thank Torgal you, Torgal. will sort you out. They just had to put a dog in the game though, didn't they? Like, they just had to. Everyone loves doggos. Uh-oh. Well, they look down to that place. And for once, it's not my fault. It's over. Punish ten enemies, excluding battles in the Hall of Virtues. <laughs> I mean, well, wolves. Wolves are basically just dogs anyway, so of course you like them. Get him, boy. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. Okay, Turkle. Who's a good Poochie? I would be completely lost without him. So we're gonna have a big boss fight against that big guy, aren't we? Probably here. Of it. What's that on Torgal there? Okay, here we go. Hello! You're so cute though! But if you try to eat my dog. You better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. What? Still short. Whoa, he's rolling! But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. That's not exactly. Gotta get that timing. This 
some potions. sloppy in that not impressed with myself oh no oh no I got no potions stand back Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. I said to you, I was like, ooh, Ramu, Ramu. I was right. Sid. I was right. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? Peace. What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> no, he wants respect. Ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. 
A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? How is it you didn't understand that, Clive? Even I was like, yeah, I get where he's coming from. Okie dokies. Um, no potions. No high potions. Let's hope that there's no more major bosses before I can get to a village. Unless that's a potion. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough with it. I still think it's himself, but let's not constantly go with that. You know what to do. Because it's like if I'm completely wrong. Then people are gonna be really sick and tired of hearing all about it, you know? If it turns out that it's us. If it turns out it's not us, sorry. Get him. trying to get some more items here. See that last brother. fight really left me in a bad place. Stream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. There, boy. Love the way he says that. Sick him, Torgal. Get all the goodies. So we're finally into the game. It's been quite the tutorial, I would say. So we're going that way. Learning the game. Getting used to the village. I saw you there. I wasn't worried. It's always quite difficult when you're playing these kind of games on YouTube because you do tend to do that thing where it's like, oh, I need to get to the, the best bits, you know? But in the same breath, it's like, there's something down there. When it's your first playthrough, you really don't want to rush. No holding back. Oh hey! You know what to do, boy. Be careful in this one. Sick of toggle.
Okay. So that's the way I'm going. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, kick it open. You gotta make sure you get absolutely everything. Let's down this way. Do I have? Uh huh. Oh, I don't actually have like a proper map for this area. Okay, so I think I. Did I come from that way? I can't even remember because I dropped down into that area. So, okay, it's fine. Let's just go this way. Torgal knows, like, okay, we're being quiet here. Oh, it's our lady! Hey, they're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? They're just gonna kill you. Ugh. It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? <laughs> intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground imperials oh jeez look at Torgal he's like oh yeah yeah bring it let's get this over with then They always act like they're gonna be so tough, and then we just kick well, their ass anyways. Wait a minute. When I'm asking Torgal to heal me, I'm not getting very much from him. is orange. Uh oh. Tap square. Okay. I'm ready. We're doing it. Push it back. You're on 
Oh! Hi! Whoa! No, you don't! Oh, Torgo, what were you doing, buddy? What were you doing? Dominant? He could have done a lot more then. The <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder. Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Exactly. So what the hell's going on here? Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. Oh, it's so interesting, you guys. It's so interesting to me. Stage replay and arcade mode are now available in the hideaways at Etstone. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on each of the new options. Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, you guys, 
I'm kind of all out of time for this long episode. I didn't realize how long I'd actually been playing for. My camera's probably about to die. And it's also half past 11 at night. But, you know, it's, it's Final Fantasy 16. We're all out here having a good time. And I think I just heard my dog bark. I don't know. Maybe. Did I leave the door open? I can't remember. This game is phenomenal. And I did say, I did warn you guys a while back that Final Fantasy 16 will be taking over my channel. This is my life now. And I'm loving this game. It's everything that I hoped it would be. So I hope you are enjoying these videos. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.